Oh, we're going to stand and worship. We're, we're, we've got a lot of folks in the bedroom. Sister Mary went out of the hospital today. And uh, I'll, we'll talk about prayer time. But let's go ahead and go to prayer now and invite his presence in with us because he's already here and wanted to be here with us. Amen. Father, we love you, Lord. We praise your name. We thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you for this night. We thank you, God, for this opportunity, Lord, to be in your house, God. To worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth. I ask you right now, Lord, to help us, God, to look up to you, Father. And, Lord, reach out to you. And know that you're here. In the name of Jesus, we love you. And we praise your name. And the church said, Amen. Y'all stand up and sing.
my service. Wasn't it awesome? Yeah. It was absolutely awesome. I have thought about it and, and bashed on it and chewed on it all week, all week so far. It's been awesome. It's time now to take our prayer request to the Lord. Does anybody have a special spoken request you want to share with the congregation? Remember Frank and her family. That, uh, Stephen's having to take the grandson to college tonight, and she's watching the babies while somebody else takes another granddaughter. Her daughter takes her granddaughter uh, somewhere. So, so he just, she said, please remember all, all of them. And also, Sister Mary came home today, but she's been in the hospital since last, I don't know, that's Friday, Friday. And she came home today, and she had a, 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 a test done that said they found out that she's really doing really good, and and it's just awesome to hear those good reports. And Sister Dorothy is doing better. The the again, uh, uh, again, she calls her on her leg. Uh, cellulitis. Cellulitis. Yeah, the cellulitis is better, but she's still having some problems trying to get her strength back. So pray that they do the right thing and not send her home too early. You know, so, so Sister Dorothy, remember her in prayer. And, and also, again, I, I mean, it's very, it'll be buried in Friday, but let's remember, some of y'all knew Seth Cherry from uh, PCS, and some of you may not have, but in his family. Please remember them in prayer, because again, while they were sitting at the graveside, their own youngest son, 55, one of my classmates, one of my best friends in high school, uh, when they buried him, his big brother and sister said this shouldn't be happening. And so please remember them in prayer also. But anybody else have a spoken? Uh, I'd just like to remember everyone that's here at the last minute trying to prepare their taxes to get them. <laughs> yes. It, it will stress. It will stress thy out. It will stress thee out. It will stress thee out trying to do thy taxes, or however you want to say it. King James Version. Uh, yeah, and, and I had I went to do accounting this year, and so I'm trusting in his hands. And I thought they said he had already had about 10 ministers. When I talked to him, he said, You're the second minister I've done my own night. Second minister. That's not making me. I'm not getting good little booger feelings right here. But I'm still, I'm all trust. I'm all trust that God's got this under control. Amen. What did you say was the matter with Frankie and Stephen? Her, Stephen's taken Kendall to college tonight. Frankie's watching the youngins while her daughter takes her granddaughter somewhere. Okay, something to do with something, some kind of medical thing. And so she just sent some make sure you pray for all of them. She just, best thing to do is just blank it. Frankie and her whole group. Her whole group. The whole, the whole shooting match. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Let's go on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pray for our congregation. Uh, Sunday mornings are getting really exciting. And, and I can see the growth potential. Uh, still Tuesday nights and Sunday nights, people. And it's not just here. It's everywhere. It's just it's the, it's the signs of the times. Uh, the people are between being just wore out. You know, I, I remember Procter & Gamble. When I first worked at Procter & Gamble, there was 30-something people on the team. And I was there for over 11 years, almost 12 years. And when I left, that same team, our workload had tripled. And we were down to 13 people on the team. From 30-something, 13. And the workload had tripled. But now we had computers and robots. And that's what I took care of. So my workload was so vast. Sometimes I never even got lunch break. You know, just go, 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 go. But, but again, I reckon that's why now I'm, I'm so eager to go, 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 and go. And, and when it happens the last minute, don't bother me. That's all I've ever done was the last minute stuff. You know, breaking down stuff quick, putting them back together. But again, I stayed tired with 13 people than I did with 30 people. No, so that's the way it is everywhere, right? It just signs of the time. Everybody's stressed out. So, so this is where we need to be, but this is not where we're at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying?
lately that I never would have ever dreamed I have to encounter. But that's, again, the signs of the times. And, and people that you would never think. You know, not here in the church, but I counsel all over the place. I'm saying this, though, you know, uh, it, just, it just amazes me at some of the things that you hear and see nowadays, but it's the signs of the times. And, oh, I know, but I'm talking about, but I say counsel, I don't want y'all to think I'm talking to somebody here in the church, so I'm not. If y'all come to me with a problem, I'm not going to spread it everywhere. You're not going to hear it. I'm just saying it is in general and not here. Right, right, but in general, not here, but in general. You know, uh, it's just it just blows me away at some of the things, you know, how Satan has come in to attack, to steal, kill, and to destroy. And, and so... Uh, it, it, we just need to remember this is a trying time. I got, I got another thing. I've, I've been battling size headache. I felt the Lord's help about that at Congress, and y'all felt me. But um, also been to the Dr. Angie, the uh, uh, co doctor, and she worked on both feet. Wait. Well, 
just shove it down our throat and say live with it. But when we try to stand up, they want to hit us hard, hit us, hit us hard, hit us quick, hit us slow, because they don't want us rising up. They just want us to lay down and take it. And I'm tired of laying down and taking it. You know, and I'm going to speak up. And, and, uh, and then, honestly, that, that law is kind of already a national law anyway. So it's not like it's something that's a surprise. You know, it's like the borders. I said, why don't we do something about the borders? Well, the borders are supposed to be enforced. There's a law there. Yeah, I told, I told somebody, I, I, I took Linda to the Chinese restaurant last night. I had a great idea. And if we can't seem to build a fence between, between Mexico and uh, Texas, call the Chinese, they build a great wall. <laughs> they can build us a great wall between Texas and Mexico. Amen. That's true. That's true. Um, you know, I, I was, I was using I can tell you this, this, uh, I can't ever think of, when I go to talk about it, I can't, chondroitin, chondroitin, and uh, I was talking, I see it on TV all the time, and I was talking with Eddie about it, and so I went, and I was, I was getting the, the blue goo for my legs, the, the uh, not the ostrich, but the emu oil, and while I was there, uh, I saw this glucosamine in chondroitin. And it was something like Triflex, but it was a B2 brand. And so I got it. And my legs really hurt really bad. It kept me up all night from hurting. Well, I got that stuff, and on the second day, it didn't keep me awake anymore. And so right now, my legs still have pain, but not like they were. Matter of fact, it's livable. The other was not livable. This is livable. So, so again, uh, I would say if somebody's got some pain in their joints or in their back or something, I would, I would definitely, I'm a, I'm a testimony. So see. For both testimonies that they could close to me. And, and, and initially, what I got me looking at it was my dog. Because my dog has a bad hip and it was snapping. Because the hip was out of joint, not joint good. And she said, and the vet said, we got, she got to lose weight and we got to give her this uh, glucosamine so she can, she can survive this thing. And so we did. And she's running around like a wild thing. And so I thought about that. And then, and then, sorry, but I'm telling you, uh, I actually walked up, I've been in the hospital every day for the last four or five days, and just about every day I walked up two, two flights of stairs to get Sister Dorothy and Sister Mary were on the same floor, and even today I even walked, walked back out on the second floor, walked up to the fourth floor on the, on the steps, and then took the steps down off the fourth floor to the, to the main floor. Now when I got to the main floor, I got to mid, I was thinking that was stupid, but still. <laughs> It was not hurt anywhere near as it would. So I would, I would, I would tell anybody, try that stuff. They're not kidding when they say they're helping. And, 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 it's, and you're helping pain, which you're not helping. You're not, you're not trying to get rid of the pain. You're actually preventing the pain. And I'd rather prevent the pain without medicine. Any day. Any day. So that's just a thought. If anybody's having any, any, uh, anything like that, that that's, a, that's another thing but that'll help too. It, is that, it, an exercise. you got to keep moving. You gotta keep moving. Now Linda, Linda's got that fibromyalgia and exercise doesn't help her. It hurts her, but I don't have fibromyalgia. And if I don't exercise, I freeze up. I gotta move. 
And she'll, she'll say, why are you getting up your leg hurts? I said, because if I don't move, you know. So, so everybody, I mean, you find what works for you. Once you find what works for you, do it. But I would, because of me, I would recommend that to anybody. I would think that would help cure cure. You just said a word I didn't know. You said glucosamine. Glucosamine. Glucosamine and conjoint. It's actually it lubricates your joints. It helps your body naturally lubricate your joints. And so it acts after about the second day I started feeling better. By the third day I was feeling really much, a lot more, a lot more better. How you say it? And I haven't been being awakened all during the night with leg aches from my knee. And I haven't been awakened with a leg ache since. So I'm telling you, and that's, that's natural stuff. You can take it and, and uh, I think it's awesome. You can get it at Walmart, you can get it at Walgreens, you can get it anywhere. It's, it's, it's natural, and, and most of it comes from fish. Something inside fish. You know what they make WD-40 with? Fish oil. So WD-40 is made with fish oil. You know, I thought I'd take a WD-40 and spray it on it. Cause, but, but, it helps. It does help. It really does. But instead of that, you can smell it WD-40. I can't smell it because it's Y'all ready to pray? Before, before we forget why we're up here? Before we forget why we're here. <laughs> Father, we thank you, Lord, for each and every prayer of best book in this book of light. Lord, you're an awesome God. You're a powerful God. You're more than able to do what we need. As you right now, Father, touch, anoint, have your will and your way in our lives, God. I thank you, Lord, for a very powerful move of your spirit. Lord, you know, God, who needs what? And you're more than able, Lord. Touch Sister Dorothy, Sister Mary, Sister Frank, and touch them, Lord. Lord, minister to them, Father. Ask the Lord to touch Brenda right now, Lord. Help her to feel your touch, Lord, as she's in that hospital. Father, uh, these families that need a touch in their lives, Lord, touch them right now. In the name of Jesus, you're an awesome God. You're a powerful God. We thank you for all that you do right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And the church said, Amen and Amen. Praise the Lamb of God. Okay. Now, uh, we have a volunteer to, to receive the offering. It's not going to be much or much work. Yeah, would you like me to help you? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can handle this one, sister. I think you got this. Okay, yes, for the blessing on sister. Bibles out. 